Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Today we will continue with free willing diet. Okay, what is a free willing diet? What is the function of a free willing diet? Okay, so a free willing diet can be connected across RL load. For example, we add another diode here named D2 to make uh, a load or output current continuous as the load or output current of the half wave rectifier with R load is not continuous. But why it is not continuous? Okay, if you remember from the previous slide, the current can flow during the positive half cycle only. But then during the negative half cycle, the current is zero. So that's why half wave rectifier is not continuous. Okay. And then another function of a free willing diode is to protect a semiconductor switch from voltage spike that may be occur in inductive load. Okay, so for example here, the switch here okay, can be a BJT, MOSFET or IGBT. But, but now we are using the, the power diode only. Okay, but... In order to protect the switch, the free willing diode, the free willing diode here, D2, must have a very large forward current capacity so that it can carry current without burning. Okay, and for the free willing diode, the both diode cannot be forward biased at the same time. So it means that if D1 is on or forward bias, D2 must be off or reverse bias and vice versa. Okay, now let's look in detail on how a free willing diode operates. And let's start with the positive half cycle first. Okay, so during a positive half cycle, D1 is on and D2 must be turned off. Okay, so D1 is in forward bias. Okay, because the switch is short circuit. Okay, now the current can flow. Alright, so that's why we will get V out equal to Vs. Okay, and then during the negative half cycle, Okay, so which one is on and which one is off? So D2 will be turned on and D1 will be turned off. Okay, so that's why it is open circuit here. Here is open circuit because D1 is off. Alright, so only D2 is on. Okay, so when D2 is on, Thus, as there's no input supply, so we will get V R equal to 0. And the inductor will de-energize, which produce a current that continuously flow through the load. Okay. Okay, finally, this is the output voltage and output current of the freewheeling diode. Okay, so as you can see here, there is an output voltage during the positive half cycle only. Okay, while during the negative half cycle, the output voltage is zero since D1 has been disconnected and D2 will be turned on. Okay, but a significant changes is seen for the output current here, the output current K. Okay. Where the output current is now continuous as the D2 is on during the negative half cycle. Okay, so during the positive half cycle, D1 will turn on. This one is D1 and then during the negative half cycle, D2 is on. So, uh, current will be continuous. And this is the current, the current at the uh, diode number 1 and diode number 2, ID1 and ID2. Okay, so that's it for the freewheeling 
diode and we will do some exercise in the next video okay so stay tuned bye